If you ever have used Elementor Flipbox, you would know that it is very limited. The only option that we get is to change the icon or image, add our heading and our description. Now that would be not good if you want to create your custom design that matches your website like this Flipbox. And you can see that we can actually create this with Elementor elements so that you have the complete freedom to create your own design. And in this one, which is Elementor Flipbox, you could see that it has a 3D depth effect. We will not be doing that. I'll keep that video for later. So how about we get started? Now one more thing I want you guys to know that we are actually using an HTML widget which has the CSS code and this is this works for Elementor free but if you have the budget to buy Elementor Pro it is good to get it because then you would not be needed to use an HTML widget and that leads to decrease in like DOM elements and stuff and that just keeps your website clean faster because we are just rendering less DOM elements. So if you have the budget to get Elementor Pro, the link is in description. That way you don't have to use the HTML widget around here and you could simply just add it to your flip card in your custom CSS panel around here and it just makes it easier. It just makes your code look like better and just your website faster. Also much more easier to manage all this stuff. But if you don't have the budget, don't worry, it still works for Elementor Free too. So how about we get started. Now to explain to you guys what we are actually doing, I'll just create a container. I'll just give it like a random height. Okay. So basically what we are going to do is we are going to create a container like this. Give this full width or whatever you want. You could make like any style of design that you want. And let's keep this like this. Now in this one. I'll just make this let's say black and inside of this one I'll add another container but before that let's just name it to let's say our flip card or flip box something like this inside of this container we'll just add our front so this would be our front and let's make this full width and let's make it like 400 now you don't have to copy this like full width and 400 just do it whatever you want I just want to showcase what we are actually doing and this one i'll call this as back i just duplicated the front container so you could see flip box with front and back just ignore this stuff uh, this is like my previous video which like showcase how you could add 3d in your website so let's just make it a color and you don't need to do the same steps i'm just showing you okay so what you basically need to do is you need to have a flip box or whatever container you want. Instead of this, you need two containers. Both of these containers need to be same height. So you could see 400 and 400. Basically keeping them same height just makes it look better. And what we basically do is we go into our flip box and remove our padding. So that it just, you see the black uh, border is just disappeared right now. Because there's no padding now. And instead of this in the front container, we basically do all our styling, all everything that we want. We just do it. And basically we go in here, we type DM front card. So this is the CSS that we use dot CSS class that we use DM dash front card. In the back, we type DM back card like this. And you could see as soon as I typed that it got hidden, it would not be hidden for you guys because you haven't added the HTML yet. So don't worry if it's not showing the same way. And in this one, which is flip box, we simply need to go and type flip DM flip card like this. And you could see that as soon as that happens, it just starts to do this animation. Now, basically in the flip box, we need to go here and then make it transparent. Uh, I just added the black color to show you guys, but we have to make sure it is transparent. And you could see what's happening as soon as i hover on this it works now it would not hover and work on you guys so what you need to do is select this flip box and type html and just press it once now what it did is basically added a html widget around here that way you don't have to like drag and drop it so instead of like dragging and dropping it you could just press around here which container you want uh, press on the widget only once and it will just add that thing and basically in this one, in this HTML one, you will have to add the code that I'll give you. Now remember that I'll explain you explain you the code uh, soon so that you could customize it to like look however you, however you want so that you could change the direction and stuff. So basically do that is in the HTML, just add the code that I've given and it will just work like this. 
So basically you could see that we have flip box inside of this we have two containers which are the same height like this and all of them are given their own class. So DM back card, this is DM front card and the flip box is given DM flip card. Okay. Now we don't obviously want this to be like this. You see, we don't want this to be so big. So what we are going to do is we are going to select front, go into position absolute like this and go to back, go into position absolute like this now you could see that something looks weird right and that's because uh because we change this to absolute it actually cannot find any like size so uh, when you do something absolute it like does not stretches the container the parent container so we will just make this one also the same height so you could see all three of them have the same height so 400 400 and then 400 like this and now you could see it works nicely and the reason why i made the html uh, just hide everywhere is simply because uh, we don't really need to see it and obviously even if you keep it like that if you don't do this it will still not be visible but sometimes it creates like a small line so i that's why i like to keep it hidden and that way the code still works and you could see that it completely works right now so this is the same thing that i've done around here so if i go to my container around here and let's say if i just remove I just make it like apps I just remove the absolute stuff like this and I also add remove the code around here so front and back I just remove it and you could see this is basically that I've done the same stuff I have a flip card instead of this I have two containers and instead of this I have two stuff like this now one uh, major thing that I want to show you is that this design is just for like design purposes for this video but from from a ux perspe uh, perspective user experience perspective do not add your buttons on like the front side because you see if i try to click on it it does not work it's good to keep it on the back but also from a ux perspective it's better to not have your uh, social icons based on your hover so it shouldn't be hidden behind this because everyone would need to like hover on it but just if you just had some design which work like this you could do that do it just from a UX perspective, it's better to not keep, uh, you see, this icon effects on hover state. And you could do any type of design that you want on this stuff. You could see any type of design, anything that you want, and it would still work. So let me just make this back to position absolute like this and then give them the classes that I had given. So DM front card, DM front card, and then DM front back. So DM front back and you could see now it would just work. Sorry, not DM front back, DM back card. Okay, and you could see it works. Now, how about I want to change this to like different direction. So if I go in there and let me just open my notepad and show you guys. So right now we have perspective 200 pixel around here. So if let's what would happen if I make it, let's say 200 uh it's not working because i have like i should basically delete this one okay okay let's try this one okay so in this one if i made the perspective 300 just looks like weird you could see so you could uh, uh, play around with values if you want to create some weird stuff like this i don't know you could change the perspective to, to do some weird stuff but i've kept it to 2000 like this so it just looks nicer then we have transition transform one second now you could see we have two two uh, sites where it says transition transform transition transform basically it takes one second to flip okay like this so if you want it to be faster you just need to change it to like lower value so i just change this to like 0.5 seconds and you could see now it's like way too faster and make sure you change it for both direction else it would like look weird like this so make sure both of this are same so it just works nicer if you want slower you could basically make it like higher value so it takes two seconds to flip like this so i'll keep it one second just looks nicer okay then we have transform rotate y and transform rotate y around here and also around here okay so basically we are we are just rotating the back card uh, 180 degree in y, y axis because we are using 3d uh, dimension so what you could simply do is 
if you want to just change it to let's say go from right to left now it goes from right to left but if you want to change the direction from right uh, just flip the direction basically so what you need to do is you need to go around here and make this positive and make this negative you could see we basically are changing this to plus and negative to change the direction so i'll do the same stuff like this and you could see the direction is now changed you can see all i simply did was change it from plus to negative and we are basically changing the sign from both of this but how about if you want to just change it to up and down so up and down you could see that we have actually used rotate y rotate y rotate y we simply need to change this to x uh, in three three locations so x and then x like this so three location we change it to x and now it just changed it to this effect and obviously again if you want to just change the direction make or uh, change the uh, sign like make one positive and negative and now you could see it has changed the direction and the best part about it is you could just do any effect that you want anything that you want and you could do anything and let's say if you are if you uh, have element pro what you could do is you could just copy this code you could delete the html widget you don't need it and that would like uh, save some dom which is it is just better for good website quality and go in custom css and add it and you could say it still works if you have elementor pro so if you don't have elementor pro just use the link in description to get it and that way you could support me and it also it's a better practice because it's just easier to now work right you have one location around here to play around and also uh, less dom for website speed so if you want tutorials more like this consider liking and subscribing and the code would be on my website which would be in the description so yeah thanks for watching